guys, Dev here. Um, today we're just gonna simply do a bumper cut on the Miata. So, if you look at it here, it's already tore up pretty good. And um, underneath in the wheel well here, it's all tore up. Um, I had a tire let go, obviously, as you do in drifting, and uh, tore all this up. This is actually much better than it was um, because I kind of straightened it out with a hammer. Uh, but this is kind of what stock should look like. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these off here. And then I think the bumper we're going to cut oh, maybe along here. And just do a bumper cut and hopefully it looks good. If not, we'll get a new bumper because we need one anyway. Because that's trash. So um, let's uh, get into this and see what needs to be done. So, I think, first off, I've got to remove this core. Just get like half a dozen of these plastic screws that have to come out. Um, and then I think there's four bolts that attach it to the chassis, if you can see that. So I think if I remove all these, take those four bolts off, I can then remove this plastic core and then we can cut this um, as we wish. Um, it's not gonna be the prettiest thing because I've got stock exhaust the race holes but uh eh, either way it'll be cool So I'm having a hard time getting that bumper support out of the um, actual bumper molding. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to cut it first. And then hopefully it uh, gives me more, more room because I'm getting caught up on that. It's supposed to be that loose? I don't know. We'll see. about the lighting it's absolutely terrible but this is what I'm going with here and try and cut along that line bumper is definitely looser than I thought it'd be but uh, we'll zip tie it let's uh, commit and cut this You do not understand how hard that is. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so what I've done so far is, as you can see, I've trimmed the OEM bumper. Oops, don't break the glass on the RX-7, Christ. That's gotta be cleaned up a little bit with a sandpaper flap disc. And I've also cut the bottom half off of the bumper support. <clears throat> now, um, if you're driving a street car, I don't recommend this, but um, it's still got quite a lot of uh, heft to it. So I'm gonna bolt this back on. And uh, if it adds a little bit of strength, perfect. But if not, we'll, uh, we'll see if it uh, serves a purpose and we'll remove it. Okay, so I've got the bumper done. Not the prettiest thing. Um, a couple wibble wobbles here and there, but uh, it'll get the job done. It's gonna fall off on the truck anyway. And what I've done is I've cut the support and I got it cleaned up actually pretty well. It looks pretty good, I'd say. And I took the bumper bracket and um, where the bumper was mounted with one hole um, with uh, these shitty plastic screws, I drilled um, a hole next to them. That way I can run a zip tie through it and uh, zip tie the bumper on. So when uh, I, if I were to ever get in a situation where the bumper um, gets impacted, it'll fall off pretty easily. So now I've, all I've really got to do is kind of reverse this and get it on. I think I might cut an angle into that, kind of make it look goofy. I don't know. Um, we'll see, but yeah, I'm having fun doing this. These are the kind of projects that uh, you kind of just enjoy. Like, I'm not uh, working on something that needs to be done. I'm just kind of making the car my own in um, its own unique way. And uh, yeah, it's fun. some meat left on that bone. Okay, so now all we gotta do is uh the reverse of this install this bumper and then the um, valence of, or whatever it's called. that's it that's uh not really a how-to but that's how i did it um i'm kind of stoked with it being zip tied because it uh, can easily fall off now without taking too much damage um but uh hope you enjoyed this video 
Um, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, again, as we're promising, uh, we're going to start making a lot more content coming up here. Um, so please stay tuned and uh, let us know what you want to see in the comments. Thanks, guys. See you at the Drift event. Peace.